of talk about John Calipari recently is centered around the NCAA allegations against his former school, Memphis. Up until that news, the talk was how Calipari has been exactly what Kentucky wanted in a head basketball coach. He signed the top recruiting class in the country, putting UK back in the national championship conversation. And he's embraced the other part of the job, ambassador for the University of Kentucky, having already attended a reception at the governor's mansion, as well as committed to speaking engagements at the Lexington Rotary Club and the Kiwanis Club. But as Calipari's longtime assistant, John Robick, is seeing firsthand, it's not been easy on Coach Cal. You can see where he's gotten tired because uh, it's been nonstop for him more than anybody uh, for the, basically coming up on two months. And, uh, you know, there are times when I have to tell him he needs to slow down a little bit. Um, but the, the demands at being the head coach here are something that we knew that was going to happen. And um, I think he's handled it really well so far. To golf, the NGA Hooters Tour in Georgetown, the final round of the ADI Classic today at Cherry Blossom Golf Club. Perfect conditions for golf this last day of May. A great blue heron enjoying the weather, too. The defending champ and former UK golfer Mark Blakefield with a chance for birdie on 15 after a great approach shot, but Blakefield would settle for par, finishes the tourney tied for 10th. Staying on 15, Florida native Jeff Kaur sinks the birdie, moves to 20 under, and takes a three-shot lead. But Kaur would bogey 16, giving former Michigan State golfer Matthew Harmon a chance to tie for the lead on 17 with this chip shot for Eagle. Oh, so close. Harmon would birdie to pull within one stroke of the lead. Now here is Andrew Medley. He entered this final round with a five-shot lead. No longer the leader, but an eagle putt here on 17 for a share of the lead. Ends up with a birdie instead. So Core with a chance to close the door. Birdie opportunity on 17. Bottoms puts him up two with one to play. The Jacksonville State alum with a final round five under 67. 20 below par for the tourney earns Core a $33,500 payday and the ADI Classic title. Uh, I knew if I just stuck in my game plan and uh, just fairways and greens, I, you know, the birdies are going to fall, and they fell. And uh, I knew if I got two coming down the stretch, I knew it was pretty good. And I hate throwing away a bogey on 16, but what are you going to do? What you going to do? Win, I guess. From the fairway to the diamond, the Lexington Legends entering the day at 24 and 24 on the season, looking to get back above 500 with Augusta at Applebee's Park. Game three of a four-game set with the Green Jackets. Legends up one nothing, but Augusta with runners in second and third here in the top of the fifth. Ashton Mowdy called in, called on in relief to get out of the jam. The grounder to the left side, the throw to first. Not in time. Run scores from third. Ties the game at one. But that's all Augusta would get in the fifth. And the Legends get four in the eighth to win it 6-2. They'll try to earn a split of the series in game four tomorrow night at 7 o'clock over there at the Riblet. The Reds had their four-game winning streak snapped Friday and now facing a possible sweep in Milwaukee today. Since he down 5-1 in the fifth, Brandon Phillips, second day back in the lineup after suffering a hairline fracture on his right thumb, and he homers for a second straight day. Solo shot cuts the lead to three, but the runs stop there, and this important Central Division road trip for the Reds is off to a rough start, swept in Milwaukee with four games in St. Louis beginning Monday. NASCAR Sprint Cup at Dover. Two laps to go. Jimmy Johnson gets by Tony Stewart for the lead. And Johnson holds on for his second win of the season, his fourth career cup win on the Monster Mile. And driving like that gets you a spot on the Jack Kane Ford play of the day.